say tomorrow anenu, not you and not her. You, because you're not fasting the whole day. And she, even if she'll fast the whole day, she did not accept it before Sunday. So she cannot say anenu. Only if she accepted, she said tomorrow I will fast. Yes, she said that. Then she can say tomorrow anenu. Look into your actions. They may look into your actions. Remove out of your heart any bad feelings towards people. Remove it. It's uh, not a simple thing. From tomorrow and on, look into your Intentions that you have with people. Stop near what they have attention. Attention at the Naruska and Izaka. Abida. Kak Abida. Kriva Votak Stop near Bolas. So Bola. Okay, very good. David John, where we left off? 39. 39. David is our reporter. Liainara. I like this. Rabbi, you can't, you can't yeah, English. Rabbi, what is it? This is my uh, book on uh, English. Rabbi, mm -hmm. can I get it? You cannot announce it uh, before you go to sleep? It's another option. No, no, you cannot, no. So that means you cannot... Uh, Bottom line, you cannot. You cannot fast? Or you you could fast, but you cannot say anenu. And it will not count the same level of the anit. Right, anenu, what are the bad choices? The regular anenu. They are in Shema Koleno. What time finish? 6.08 starts, 6.30 finish. What? I said, you cannot say Aneno and the Anit will not count as powerful. But it still counts something. You care about... I'm Israel, but Rabotai, I'm telling you, if possible for you to de de dedicate extra half an hour to study Torah in the in favor of Am Israel, it will be much more strong. Or Musar, if you can learn half an hour extra Musar tomorrow, will be much more strong than the whole day Ta'anit. The whole point of Ta'anit is not the fast. It's to do Tshuva. I don't know how many people Be'emet can get there. Rabbi Nachman Braslev says that nowadays people cannot get there. They don't fast and get to do Tshuva. Most people fast. And they're waiting until the fast will be over. <laughs> That's all the fast today. So if he would have the power, he would annul, annul all the other fasts. Wow, wow. So nobody does any tshuva at, at them. In his days, at the bullet, Pachitres Think about nowadays. So it depends on you. If you feel that through the fast you will feel that you're going to do more tshuva, means you're going to look into your deeds, you're going to improve yourself. But if you will not improve your deeds, you didn't do anything with that fast. Maybe you participated in the little pain in Amisai. Emmanuel. problem. Shalom. I have to look. You to to Page 30, 39. Does a plastic rain protector that is placed on top of a regular hat count as a normal wearing? Yeah? I have a person just doshijot. I'm sorry for the non-Russian speakers. We have a few people that does not understand any English. I have to help them out also. Uh, the Beho Chilavik Shlapa Pakrivai Takoye is plasmas. S plasmasam. Nap na etat shlapa. Plastic. Plastic. Etat plastic shabad. Mozla to je delit. Yes li ne tu eru. Ne tu eru. Queen si yes eru. Mistak de ne tu eru. 
Ответ вопрос. Ответ. A plastic rain protector that it is placed on top of the regular hat or shoes counts as normal wearing. You allowed to wear a hat in a place there is no room? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, you, everything that you're wearing, you're allowed. Anything that you wear, you're allowed to. Even if there is, in your place there is no roof, you're still allowed to because it's part of you. What about plastic atori na shlapu yod? That's also considered to be part of you. Yeah. Okay, number two, yeah. I'm wearing a watch. What? I'm wearing a watch, no, no roof. You're wearing it. Yeah, it's unusual. It's allowed because you are using it. Wearing. Even if you are not using it, wearing. for knowing the time, you are using it as a jewelry, if it is like a jewelry. If it's not, then it's an issue. Yeah. If it's not working, it stopped working, oh. and you're still wearing it, and there is no roof, it's an issue. No, That's why I don't use this word wearing, like Eliyahu insisting to say already third time. <laughs> because it's not, it, wearing is only something that benefits the person that wears it here, is, if it's not working, it's not benefiting. Know, it's and it's not jewelry neither, if it's like a regular Casio or whatever it is. Huh? Huh? Yeah, if it's working, yeah, because it's, it's, it serves you. Forget about what you read, it's gonna be confused to people. Bottom line, it's allowed. Number two, may one go outside in a city without an air roof? Dressed with a hat covered with plastic. Yeah. One may go outside this in a city without an hoop dressed in the plastic covered, and there is no fear that it might fall in the public domain, and he will end up carrying it for a in the public mm -hmm. domain. Since the plastic is attached to the hat very tightly, so there is no concern that he will do such a thing. He will take it off and carry it. This is the, this is not as Rabbi Moshe Feinstein restricted, who considered it as carrying on Shabbat. Maybe I should say and considered, not who considered, right? And considered. Also, the majority of the opinions holds that nowadays the public domain is not from the Torah. So it says, we're not afraid that a person, if there is no Yerub Bechor, can you take off the plastic and walk with this on Shabbat? Not allowed to. Only when it's part of the head, you're allowed to leave it there and continue walking. But to take it off, because you don't want to look different, you want to look normal, and 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 carry it without Eruv, yes, not allowed to. Damoy, no problem. Damoy, it's in your house. We're talking whenever you go, Outside your house. Oh, you cannot take it off. Outside. Cannot take it off. There is no roof and you're going to carry it in your hands. When it's on your head, it's okay. Hmm? When it's on your head, it's okay. Hmm? Yeah, it's Isur de Rabbanan. Asur de Rabbanan. Okay, number three. Like Yedina Bechor Akai, Mashmaya Nididam. Sudash Lishit. Sudash Lishit Yedina Naomde. Minho. Okay. Whoever restricts it, going outside in the city without any roof, dressed up without a hat with cover plastic, would it count as? Would it? Would he count it? The plastic by itself as mukte. According to Ramosh Efanchi, you're not allowed to have that plastic because we're afraid you're going to take it out. Ramosh Efanchi is a prishai. Rabbi Vadya sported him. So why? Because he, we're afraid a person is going to take it off. It's not nice. It's ugly. He's going to take it off. It stops raining, let's say. Right, stop raining. And he's going to continue walking with this. Then you're going to reject And there is going to be a, a, a room issue. Huh? Yeah. If there is no eruv, he showed us. Jamaica is said fresh meadows, first steels, there is eruv. We're talking in places there is no eruv. Sometimes eruv breaks. Sometimes eruv breaks, yeah. If we don't know, it's, it's okay, no? Hmm? If we don't know. About the eruv, yeah. you're good. You're good. Yeah. If you don't know. 
Okay. And even according to the opinions that it, that one is not allowed to go. Da. But not on both sides. On this side there is. Yeah, well, that's where I live. I live in 209. Yeah, yeah, but I'm talking about the other side. Which side? The other side doesn't have. Going on Union Turnpike, only the right side. I'm talking about the right side walking from here to 209. Only the right side has it. The left side doesn't have it. The yes. There is a section. There is a section that Union only has it on the right side, not on the left side. Right. I live past that section. There is a roof in Halle Hills. There is a roof in Jamaica State. There is a roof that connects those two roofs, wow. but it, that connection only happens on the right side of Union. Now, at that side, this side, on our side. On which is our side, yeah. I asked the person who has the roof. When I just moved there, I, told, I asked him where the roof is. He took me a ride and showed me everything, where it is. Show me the line, there is a line. And on Union, there is a line. I don't know if you guys see it. If you're gonna go, there is a very thin line. You have to mamash look, you'll see it. It's not when it's raining, at uh, snowing, you it's it's visible. Oh yeah. The snow goes on it. It's, it's, a, it's a line. In the middle of Union, there is a line over there. Very hard to see. Huh? In the middle. In the middle. In the middle. In the middle of between the two roads. Wow. They put over there the roof. It's easy for it to break. It could be break. Yeah, it breaks sometimes. So it's important to know because some people can go, they have relatives or whatever it is, they want to go to the Holly Seals. The Eruv in Holly Seals, it's all over Holly Seals. The Eruv in Jamaica is all over Jamaica. Is the Eruv that connects the two Eruvs is only on the right side. Wow. In Holly Seals, it extends until Springfield, not, not after Springfield. That's and Springfield deadline. is the deadline. Okay. And it's funny how Hashem made it that my in laws will live on 223rd, which is a block before Springfield. They just made it. They got saved. Okay. I got saved. It's also so, right there. And uh, even according to the opinions that one is not allowed to go with the, into the public domain with that plastic. That plastic is not considered to be as mukti. It's written regarding Kameya, as it's written regarding Kameya, good luck charm, that was written by a non-professional, that it is restricted to go with it on the public domain, but still it's not mukti. It, it's allowed to move it inside the house. Therefore, it's not moved to here. Okay, so there is two levels of Kamea. Kamea is something that's gula, that somebody made. Sure. Or now there is professional people make gulot, there is not professional people makes gulot. If it is professional person that makes gula, some people have fear issues. They're always scared something is gonna happen. Ooh, what's gonna be? They have these issues. There is Kamea that can, a person wears it and removes the fear. Now, if the professional wrote it, it's going to help. So it becomes like part of you. You're wearing it all the time. It serves you like a watch. But what if it's not a professional person? Then it's not necessarily going to help. So it's not going to help. It's not going to serve you. It's not serving you. It's like a broken uh, 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 oh, see, watch. Therefore, you cannot wear it. So then you cannot wear it. Or if I cannot wear it, is it mukta? If I have this kamea in the house, is it mukta or no? No. Not, not mukta. Even though it's not going to help me any, in any way. Yeah. Okay. So remember, bottom line, a person is allowed to walk with a hat and the head cover. That's the bottom line. Even in place, there is no Eru. But he cannot take it out and put it in his pocket and walk in a place, there is no Eru. Because carrying applies even when it's inside your pocket. Whatever it is, all these places you have to be careful. Find out где я буду Connecticut, and I got Shabbaton You have to be careful. Там Eruv yes или нет? Но гора Shabbaton там Eruva нету. People think, oh, just Rabbi. Как будто рабай, это все малахама, малахсис. Может быть, малахама ведь иногда. Только проблемы принесет. You have to be careful that don't think because there is a rabbi or somebody with a black head means that everything is okay over here. The food, 
Kemach Yashan, candles, so many times women light candles over there in the lobby. Amish Barachal Batala. Candles in the lobby doesn't benefit anybody. A lot of issues that goes on over there in the, going to Shabbaton. So you have to be knowing that the rabbi that is there is knowledgeable not only in speeches, he's also knowledgeable in halakha. He knows halakha, Pajalusta, is it? Why not? But if there is, you have to be knowing that there is few issues with these places that a person goes. One of them is the Eruv, that outside the hotel, for example, there is no Eruv many times. Sometimes even inside the hotel you need Eruv. There are certain laws, as we spoke last time. Yeah. Yeah. Пожалуйста, why not? It's doable. Просто надо взять с собой рабай, который знает законы. Не просто интересно, что ты рассказал нам Паро и Моше, Моше и Паро. Что ты нам сказал? Что? Конесо, все хорошо. Все конесо. Пять лет ребенок так читает. Конесо. No problem. We're talking about a person that knows Ha-la-ha. Он знает законы? Джоном кти. Ребят, как вы начали? А если он не знает Аллаха, а чем Ирахим? Много-много ошибки может настать. Окей? Номер 42. Это фен мукци. Хэн фен. Хэн фен на русском как будет? Как? Вейер. Вейер. Вейер, да, вейер. Как ты за фиду? Мукци. Эхэн фен из над мукци. Not as the Mishnah Bura wrote that it is Mukte. Mishnah Bura wrote it is Mukte. How about yourself disagree? Why you say it's Mukte? You have to see inside the Mishnah Bura. It's not. How about yourself asking it's not? Does a broom cause Mukte? Venik. Yes. No. Venik Mukte or no? A broom does not count as Mukte. Because nowadays it's allowed to sweep tiled ground. Shabbat можно человеку подмести домашний полы, где где есть tile или паркет, где песок нету, карпет. Да, что это? Где песок нету нельзя, где песок где земля нельзя. Even in the ground. Да. But doesn't apply to floor. Right. Поэтому веник шабат. Не мукте. Авраам, what was your question? What if there's water on the floor? Is a map allowed to? Oh, keep it, hold it. We'll get right now to the next one. What is the rule following the majority counts as certainly, or is it still a doubt? And how is it related to the laws of мукте? When the Torah says follow the majority, да? Иди по большинству. What does it mean? It means there is no problem anymore for the minority. The minority disappeared. Or the minority is still there. Just the Torah said, don't disregard it. How do we look at it? Now you guys think, Rabbi, why we need to know that? What are we over here? No, in uh, Mir Yeshiva? <laughs> why we need to know that for? We'll see right now why. Gemara Masechet Shabbat, page 95a, states that Rabbi Eliezer holds that sweeping on Shabbat is a biblical prohibition. Oh, wow. A person sweeps on Shabbat, the ground, ground has yeah, but it's level, yeah. not even doubt. Oh, thank you. Not even doubt. The ground is never even out. It always has in, in the ups and downs, indents. So the, when a person is sweeping, what does he do? Even it out. He makes it straight on Shabbat to make place that it's not even become even that's a Torah violation what's the Torah violation for? no an area? you'll be shocked why? may you tell us remember? So why Bonnet? You're saying no? So whenever you put a building, the first thing you put in a building, you have to even out the ground. Here? Люди большие деньги дают, чтобы когда они в землю как-то взяли, 
приносит архитектор, чтобы он сначала выровнял землю. Когда земля чуть-чуть вот такая, когда вот такая, невозможно построить ничего. Фаундейшн не будет ровный. Там пикуах не вещь, можно. Там пикуах давно надо было это делать. Шаббат, кипур, ашана надо было. Давид давно это делал. Шаббат, камень сумма. If they would do it earlier, we wouldn't have all this. They let them get emo, 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 and then da 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 We should have done this all many, many years ago. Okay, continue. But, but somebody told me, you have no idea how much Hashem loves the Jewish people. It says, even this disaster that happened right now, it was the biggest disaster Israel had from the, life, from the beginning of the independence. It says, even this was a tremendous miracle of Hashem. So how? It said that the Arabs planned out much bigger scale of a terror attack all over the world. It says, after they, this Hamas couldn't hold themselves, they went out. It said, now the whole world is so angry at the Arabs, so they're ready to attack. The Arabs want to get them whenever they were not at ready. Mm -hmm. So it says, this noise that happened in Israel made right now all the countries turn their guns into somebody right now, get prepared. In case something happened, they're all right now preparing themselves. So it says, right now, all the Arabs are backed out. They're all afraid right now to do something. It says, if it wouldn't happen at that time and all this disaster wouldn't happen, a much bigger disaster should have happened. How much Hashem loves the Jewish people and he, he said, in one place we'll make it. It is unbelievable how Hashem runs this world. That's what we sing in Halel. Halelu et Adonai kol goyim. praised, goyim praise God. Why goyim should praise God? Because only they know how much chesed Hashem has on Am Israel. Because the things that they plan out so much, nothing almost works out for them. It's, it's unbelievable. We plan out billions of dollars investments against them, and somehow always they come out of it. Books is not allowed. Okay. Says However, the rabbis permit this, permitted this, and the argument between them is how to handle the halachic ruling of following the majority. According to Rabbi Eliezer, it counts as a certainly. However, according to the rabbis, it still counts as a doubt. Just the Torah decree to follow the majority. And that's the argument between the Tosafot Ba'amitsiya in regards to one who counted ships, sheep and one jumped back into the non-counted pile. The, everything is exempt from Asif. The rule is, the rule now is that everything is exempt from Asif. Do you know, Bechoraka, that a person supposed to give ma'asir even from his sheep. Baran. Goes pan. You ask? Nada at nivo ma'asir Torah gabri tojo dait. No. First of all, ma'asir you cannot give to Hamor. You have to give it to a Kohen. No. But, but, we're not talking about one tenth of an animal. Talking about one tenth of the animals. Means to say every ten animal you mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine,
What happened, says the Gemara, if one of those sheep that came out jumped back into the pile? Now, you're looking, you don't know which one jumped back. The whole thing has to go. The whole thing is Masana. <laughs> You don't know which one is the one that you counted. Safek which one is the one that came out now? Every one that comes out, you want to say tenth. Oh, maybe it's not a tenth. Maybe it's already one of the guy, the ship that already was counted. So this is the ninth. The next one is the tenth. Yeah. Or maybe no. Maybe the one that was already counted is still in the pile. Those guys that came out, they are new. Wow, you take two of them. Uh -uh. Says the halakha, all the pile is exempt from us. Exempt? Exempt? Exempt. Mm -hmm. Why? Because, because which because one is the tenth? No, no. No, Because no. the Torah says, Asiri iye kodesh, the Gemara learned out, Asiri vada'i velo Asiri safek. Comes the Tosfot and says, hold on a second. You one of the whole pile, Adin at Shabbat at the Kuchi Baranov. Adin is near. Stada Baranov. Adin is near. Ten is nice. Advati David, Litam Pisad, it's called Tambud, it is now so any. Nipashitin, Nipashitin is your problem. So if so, they are not counted. Only one of them is, uh, not, is, is counted. So we have a rule follow the majority. The majority. What's the majority? Not, Not counted. So let the counted one change his status to become non-counted one. No, then you are a man One of them is counted. Can you put all of them back? That doesn't start counting again? No, because you already counted them. Torah says the tenth one have to be brand new. Oh. That he didn't count him yet. <laughs> so says the Gemara, everything is exempt. Shot. Why? 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 Let the one that it's not counted be nullified with the other one, sorry, the one that it is counted, be nullified with the rest of the sheep that was not counted. Follow the majority. So that's the question. According to the Torah, every tenth sheep is yours, is of yours is holy. It goes to Maaseh. The Gemara says that when you have a doubt if the sheep in front of you is the tenth or not, it's exempt. The Gemara discusses what happens if the owner of the sheep decides to single out sheep in groups of at least ten and mark the tenth one. One of the nine unmarked and counted sheep jumps back over the fence into the non-counted pile with the rest of the sheep. With a messed up count, everything is exempt from Ha'asev. Tosafot questions, let it be nullified by the majority and obligate the pile with Ma'asev. It must be that they understood that the rule of following the majority counts as 100% certainly. Cert certainty. 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 You understand? The fact that Tosafot said, why can't you make Ma'asev continue counting? Like he said, what Tosfat understands that whenever you have a pile of sheep, that majority is uncounted and the minority is counted, what the entire pile turns to be uncounted. So I, we don't have any more a doubt. It's a hundred percent uncounted. Follow the majority means that the minority does not exist anymore. Right. It turns the status from a counted one to uncounted, to uncounted one. So you can bring them back to the Comes the Rosh and says, no, 
disagrees and said that, the fo that following the majority is only a biblical decree, but there is still a doubt. And regards the laws of Maaseh, the Torah said, only certainly the tenth is obligated. Even according to Rav in, in Baba Batra, that we do follow the majority in regards to monetary discussion, that's only because of Hazakah of the original owner. However, Maimonides holds that in general, the majority constitutes a certainly, certainty. However, we practically align with the sages who permit house cleaning sweeping because it's not certain that it will smooth out grooves in the ground. Instead, this is a case of a doubtful, the indirect causation, and it's any causation and is comparable to an intended act, and therefore it's allowed. Safek pasik which is allowed. I'll ask you a question. Huh? <laughs> So much for one, for one letter question. There are certain uh, things you have to explain more. Elaborate. I'll ask you a question. A person has a piece of meat. He doesn't know this piece of meat is kasher or not kasher. Can he eat it or no? No. no. What that concept called? Safek. The oraita. Lahuma. Anytime you have a doubt on the Torah, we go strict. If That's so, the wolf, he told you that it's lenient because if, everything if so, is there banana now. But Neria, what if a person has a situation like this? If he opens the refrigerator door, the light inside the refrigerator door, <coughs> yellow light, garachi. <laughs> this yellow light to turn on, it's the right, anachon? Yeah. What if? A person opened on Shabbat the door of the refrigerator and the light went on. On Kakoi Narushel and Narushel. Torah Elid Rabbanan. The right. Well, he didn't know. He knew, he knew, he knew. He knew. He knew. What the right Zna! The right Elid Rabbanan. The right. I said yellow light. Above all, Mondegi. I know, but Rabbi, it has that, that uh, button there, no? So when you open the button, the button goes out, and then the light goes on. Yeah, but it happens simultaneously. But it doesn't not, take time but, to react. But you're not doing it directly. That's called Pasek Right. I, I move the chair right. on the ground, and the chair makes lines. Right. What is that called in Alakha? Plowing the ground. Ti Pasha Zemlu. It's not your intention. Right? But it's not my intention. My intention is to prostitute the to be good. I didn't have Kavanah for that. Right. And you don't benefit from it. Right. Okay. It happened. You did it. You moved the chair. It counts like you intended for that also. That's called Pasik Preshe. Says, what if I don't know if the light in the refrigerator is on or off? The wife throws on him, he throws on her. Basically, bottom line, Safek. You don't know if the light is on or off. Can you take the risk? Maybe you should turn it off and yes. open the refrigerator? Yes. We have two status now Safek and Psikoche. Right. Abba Beko, what do you call? What do you say? Abba what do you say in this case? When we have a doubt it's on a pasikation, is it comparable to the meat, piece of meat? I have a doubt. Kasher at the meat in the meat. Is it comparable to the meat, piece of meat? I have a doubt. Kasher at the meat in the meat. Wow, I don't know. What do no. we say? Safek do right alechumra. Don't touch. Don't take the risk. Uh, what about? The refrigerator? It's not special. That's it. Right. Ah, allowed to open. No, 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 no. Or is it a suffix? Yellow light? The best thing before taking the risk is to call a goy. The best thing. No need to. Huh? Don't need to. Why? You have to take the risk. Why? Better. Tell him to open if it is like, tell him to shut up. When I eat this piece of meat, what is my kavana? To eat the meat, no? 
So Torah says, if you have a doubt on the action that you intend to do, don't take the risk. But if I have a doubt on the action I don't intend to do, it's just inevitable to happen. Here the Torah didn't say don't take the risk. So the same thing with the chair. That's concept. If I if I move the chair and maybe the chair will make lines, I'm also allowed to move the chair. Right, because you don't intend. That's not your purpose. No, not We're talking purpose. whenever you know it's gonna make lines. You just say I don't intend. Mm -hmm. Would that change the rule because you don't intend? If yeah. you know. As this much more, it's more, it's good. Because by the refrigerator light, but you, you have a doubt. This is yellow In light? In case, I said uh, you have a doubt. It's a the Rabbanan you light? Yellow light. Uh, even the Oita light. You're allowed to. So the Rabbanan light, is huh? more linear. So right. How about if you use... Cut? Yes, that's more light, that's what you should do. Refrigerator light. Now a question to you, Bechor. You went to your children's house, neighborhood, or whatever it is. You went over there. Now you don't know the Chinese people next door on this side, the Japanese on that side, the Spanish on the other side. Maybe they have sensors. How are you going to walk on Shabbat to the synagogue? Maybe right now this guy's light sensor is going to go on, and the Chinese bought it from Bovo, the yellow light, and he left it over there. Maybe you passing by, you're going to turn on the yellow light. No, Sensor. You don't care about it. Can you take the risk or no? Yes, because you don't. But who cares about Knesset? Well, you can make the break the laws for the Knesset. You're not breaking the laws. And, and you have yeah, it's not in your hand. No, that's not the answer. The answer is what David said. Tell him, David. Now, if you on the way back, you know it's gonna turn on. You know what it's similar to? You know when you lay uh, when you lean on the wall. And then you slip and you turn. No, on the it's light. not comparable to that. No, you're not chayav at over nothing. There, you know? Over there is nothing. But, yeah, that's also Here, nothing. No. What if you do the when you lean on the wall, did you have a maybe you're gonna turn on the light? No. I hear we tell Becho, one of the guys over here in the street, maybe his light is gonna go on. And if you don't tell him, I told him. Oh, okay. Can he, he still go or no? Yes. He has a doubt. Yes. I don't know. The this side, that side. Maybe I say this. You should go to the other side. Across the street. Is he obligated or no? What is that called? Safik Pasik Reshe. No Safik Dal Banan. I'm talking about yellow light. On the way back. LED is even more Now on the way back. Yellow light I'm talking about. Yellow light. You know what goes on. That's another issue. I, mean, not, I don't want to discuss this. Right? Bottom line, you could be lenient. Bottom line, I don't want to tell you why. Yellow got greater. Bottom line, it could be lenient. Bottom line. A good building. I don't want to explain now why, because it's going to take us our class off topic. My question is like this about the refrigerator, right? Even if you have a doubt, right? But Even or only if you have a doubt? I'm saying you have a doubt, okay. right? There's a 50-50 chance that, uh, you know, the, the light might be on. Right, and so the so light is the right answer. Yellow answering. light you're talking about. So can you use uh, left hand instead of right hand? Do you have, the question, you could do whatever you want. You can call a go, you can do with your elbow, you can do with your mouth, you can do whatever you want. Question what halacha requires. So halacha doesn't re require to open. Can I take the risk of with my right hand? Or maybe there is a chance that your light is going to go on. What's the answer? Yes. Because when do we say pasik resha is an issue? When it's for sure to happen. The word pasik resha means cutting off the head. Back in the day, they used to cut off the head of the chicken. chicken. Not Never whatever Hamas does, yeah? Never. Other things. They used to cut off the head of the chicken and... This chicken's head they used to give the children to play with. Yes. Now comes the child to you on Shabbat. He says, Abba, I don't have a toy. Can you get me another one? <laughs> At the Kuritz of Shabbat. Bechor takes it. <laughs> Bechor, why are you killing Shabbat? No, Rabbi, I don't intend. I only want the head for the baby to, to play. I, the, if he would have two heads, I don't care. Let him stay alive. Gemara says, what, are you making a joke? I don't intend. 
Hasik Reshe, you're going to cut off Reshe, the head, and he's going to remain alive? Oh, he, he could remain alive. I don't care. Well, how can you cut off the head and he's going to remain alive? What if it's dead already? So what, what says Rav Yosef, what do we learn from here? What do we learn from here? That Pasik Reshe means something I didn't intend. I don't intend to kill it. But it's for sure to happen. Not maybe will happen. A hundred percent it would happen. What the Pasik Reshe? But if, that's a suit. But if I have a doubt, most will be stunning. Most will be stunning. At the Pasik Reshe? No. If I cut off the chicken's head, is there a chance it's going to remain alive? Galavat says, say the time. Chance is going to remain alive, yes? Good. Even if he will run around, whatever it is, he's on his way up to death, but he's, he'll die. There is no one chance he's going to remain alive. Says the Havari Yosef, Boteta Shtaitz Apasik Reshe. And whenever there is a maybe chance he's going to remain alive, it's not Pasik Reshe. It's called? Safek Pasik Reshe Yeta Mojna. Even the right. Hold on. Before questions, if so, says Rav Adia, person right now sweeping the floor. Is there a chance? Where is the Etat? 42. 42, yeah. What? Number three, yeah? Yeah, number three. Says to Rabbi Liezer. You saying that to sweep the floor it's a suk doraita? A suk doraita is only whenever it's for sure going to happen. Ayesli eta mor rubit nistanit eta ujani doraita. Right? Tolka? The Rabbanan. Why the Rabbanan? For a different reason. Not because of Safek Pasik Reshe, it's Asum the Rabbanan. Safek Pasik Reshe, it's allowed. Oh, it's already time? I didn't read the Zohar. Yeah, I coach you the Zohar for a Pasini Raza Bohai. No, it's important, so. So, I want to tomorrow by 9.50 to read the Zohar. Yaakov, remind me. Okay? No, give it to him now. No, it's already time for Kaddish. No, it's time. Okay, last, yes, question, yes. Mm. Is that the Yeah. The Chidushi is, even though Safek, Sikrishay, should have been Safek Doraita, like the Safek piece of meat, that I don't know if it's kosher or not. And the Torah said, be strict. So how come over here I'm allowed to be lenient? So it says the poskim because the doubt on the meat is you intending to eat the meat. Mm. So the doubt is whatever you intending to. When I open the refrigerator door, I don't intend for the light. Mm -hmm. So the doubt is on action that I don't intend for. The doubt over here is in the action that I do intend for. That's what Torah says. Safe go straight. But in the refrigerator door, I don't intend for the light. So the safek of that, I don't intend. It's not comparable to the meat cake. So it's not, it's no, so therefore it's allowed. 100% allowed. Yes. Maybe secret the it's not allowed also, right? Uh, what I'm asking is because of uh, security cameras, they record the secret. Right. So now if you don't really check the cameras, you can say it's delayed. Don't yeah? There's a delay. In shows for security reasons because they don't want people to be put in front. This is a bit of a problem. Where the why they put the TV? Yeah, TV on with security cameras in front so people can see. Yeah. So, so, front, yeah. so over there, over there, Rabbi Yosef says, who is re who caused the recording? Whoever is at the door. Right, who benefits from it? Whoever is in the shoe. Uh, okay. Two different things. So. He doesn't care right now being recorded or not. So for whoever violates it, it's Pasik Reshe de Rabbanan, but he doesn't care. Who cares about it? The result about the one that is inside the shoe. And they don't do anything. They sit and watch. <coughs> so that's why there is room to be lenient regarding it also. And regardless, Pasik Reshe de Rabbanan, even Nihale, there is a lot of room to be lenient. In, in especially in uh, Tzorich places, Rabbi yeah, Yosef says, know. brings a bit Yosef, that it's yeah, a lot of people. That's the point, it's a rabotai. I don't know, a ring, in a door. You know, so, okay? so, 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 so,
That's the way we're going to learn. Yesterday we learned, Rabotai, Rabotai. Yeah, good. Yesterday we learned in the Zohar, the Zohar calls a person, Mara, Mare de Chushbena. That we know there is Chatz Lo Alenu Lo Alechem. There is a long uh, din, a big din that Lo Alenu happened on Am Israel with that war. So, Hashem Erachem, you know, such a disaster. 200, you know who, who is in the biggest pain out of all this war? Kidnapped. The one that kidnapped. The one that died, they died. They went to, straight to Olam Abba. The one that they are alive, they are in pain. But the one that they are in hostage, they are in the biggest pain. So it says this big deen, Hashem Rahim, this deen, it's all decided, it says, on Bedin Shel Mala. How do we make the, our case in Bedin Shel Mala not to judge us? We made mistakes. How do we make Bedin Shalmala not to judge the mistake? By judging ourselves, not yes. judge others. It says before you're going to sleep. It's very important, Rabotai, that you should not forget this. Mareh de Chushben, so I call him, this is the master of Cheshbon. On Sam Sibeh Cheshbon, dearly. On Sam Sibeh, Sudi. If a person is judging his mistakes in Olam Azeh, before he goes to sleep, Eliyahu, Olam Abba, nobody is able to judge you. If nobody is able to judge you, no problems are coming back to this world because all the problems are already declined. You're coming to Olam Abba tonight when you go to sleep, your Neshama goes to Olam Abba. The Olam Abba Neshama is saying, What did you do today? It says, The more detailed you were about your own confession, you didn't say, Hashem, I made a mistake. <laughs> I go, night, Good night. You say, What's the mistake? What did you pay attention to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hashem, today I woke up into the, I walked into the house. Right away I realized how much laundry my wife didn't do yet. I didn't tell her nothing, Rabbi. But inside my heart, it's painful. You no, know? all day she was at home. Today was Sunday. Why she can't make the laundry, Rabbi? Realizing that bad point in her. Causes them to realize bad points in you. Why you say that? How do I wife, stop I them you. realizing bad points in me? I go. I start realizing in my wife good points in her. Now, what if a person failed? He comes home and he doesn't do that. So at least, at least before you go to sleep, before you send your neshama up there, say, Hashem, please forgive me, Hashem. I went today, but the details, the details. Hashem, I saw today the laundry over there. I saw the pile of dishes over there. I saw the mess in the house. This garbage every time I have to take out. She never takes it out. Huh? Impossible. 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 Okay. problem is. Hashem, I have to go to the house. 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 Это все проблемы, Джон Дедеш, ты должен был шахарить читать. А what are you doing, Сэд? Ханда, ханда, бахти шахарит, ханда, нарко, вот что ты нарко, кунан. Габ судим, но, 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 ханда. Хондет, шут, бас, правильно сделали. Другие всякие ошибки у человека есть. Пример, пример. Человек одел тфилин, и word тфилин, he didn't have any happiness in his tfilin. Robot бори одел. Big problem. There is four kavanot you're supposed to think about. Вы помните? На руку. Одна кабана на голову. Это шурха на рук пишет. If a person didn't do this kavana, he wore his tfilin, not your tfilin, хоба 100%. He's может быть вот такой он стал. Беди авад. Почему, когда покупаем кушать, лехатхиля покупаем? Ты сейчас найдешь в ресторан, тебе скажет Балабай, слушай, у меня два-три дня тому назад что-то осталось. И вот, I give you this, the one that left out, left over two-three days ago. No, 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 дай мне хорошее сегодня, fresh. А? Боли ишкам? Баруха шеем, все хат at the top. А боли не шамачи, не шамачи. Our mitzvot is a hundred percent. Or we, there is room to improve. Hashem, today I made Hashem Yatzar Eta Adam Bechokma. I was thinking about the, the ticket I'm supposed to deal with, and I was thinking about the car, where I'm supposed to make the chai and what's going to be with my this. I did Hashem Yatzar. Hashem made my body healthy. I didn't appreciate it. Yaskaza Hashem Yatzar Kavanan Yebala Uminya. 
ליש בליש בזהו. This, רבותי, העבירות, that the bedin shel mala judges a person. How do we make bedin shel mala not judge the person? Before you're going to sleep tonight, you say, Hashem, help me, Bukasha, I make mistake with Asher Yatzar. I made mistake with I'm talking during Shaharit. I'm not learning 100% every single morning, every single night. I'm sorry I did such a mistake. It says, whenever you judge yourself in Olam Azeh, they don't judge you in Olam Azeh. We should understand that tonight before you go to sleep, Yaakov. Sam Sibiyat Shalavik, Sam Sibiyat Shalavik, Sutra Paranj Chuzel, David Shira, Kakiya Tfilin Adil, Kakiya Shacharit Malil, Kakiya Drugomu Pamok, Kakiya Drugomu Kidu, Kakiya Drugomu Zadzel, Kakiya Slavam, Shoto Skazal, 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 Shoto